Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to store object selections. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use this uh, simple T-Pose rig. And uh, what I want to do is go here to the hand and I'm going to select this digit, come over here, press S to unfold the hierarchy. And I need to find all the digits. So middle click on this, then shift on this, shift and middle click on this, and shift middle click on this. And what I want to do is go to the coordinates, make sure that all the transformations are frozen, and then go and find which rotation is going to make the fingers curl. And uh, there you have it. These are the fingers. Now, the problem with this is that anytime I select something else, if I want to select those fingers again, I have to go and do that selection again. So middle click, shift middle click, shift middle click, and shift middle click. But I want to do that in an easier way. So the way to do this is first select all the objects you want, and then press shift C to bring up the commander, and type set selection and the first thing that comes up is called selection and it's a scene object click on it and now you have a selection object and if you go to the object tab it contains everything you had selected from that point onwards if you double click on this you will get all your pre-selected objects you can also populate it or add objects after the fact so you can go here and drag more objects from the object manager inside this list and they'll be added to your selection when you double click on the selection object. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.